artist naming day album five okay you know what's this about you got Trey songs now you know you kind of hit it a little bit just had a little one two three four five and you know on the cover then you had game who was able to use five you know most people pretty much just figured it was you know gang related so nobody didn't really think nothing of it until Neo Neo used the same thing and then it was that's when the confusion started and that's when the whole you know controversy started like what's up with this okay so that's what we're going to talk about Pretty much, you know, I don't know if anybody or everybody, I don't know what y'all know about the occult. I don't know a lot about it. I know a little bit about the positive occult, you know what I'm saying? I know it's been passed down from uh, Solomon's temple, you know. He was able to conjure demons and he was able to do all that stuff, you know. Um, everybody say that Solomon, you know, from the history was the um, unrighteous uh king and the unrighteous uh son of Judah. But uh, you know there were a few of them in the um in the Bible, in the history, in the in you know in the history of Judah. So you know, I don't really I don't, I don't really I, I I'm a man of wisdom and I've always compared myself to Solomon. You know what I'm saying? Today's the Sabbath, you know. I'm learning to, you know, it's Saturday morning, you know, um, I'm learning to observe the true Sabbath. I'm learning to do the right things. I don't always do the right things, you know. Um, I'm trying to recondition myself after, you know, 20 some odd years of, you know, social conditioning from, you know, the... Um, pagan churches and, you know, miseducation system and, you know, the whole nine. So, yeah, so, we're going to talk about that and uh, we're talking about, you know, uh, the, the the music industry and, um, you know, shout out to Deacon Records, you know, shout out to all the independents out there, you know, who, who, who giving these um, artists, uh, creative freedom and uh you know and they ain't got to do these little gimmicks and stuff they just put in music out and find their true fans you know if you don't like it you probably wouldn't know about them you know what i'm saying that's how it should be think about you know these these album these these majors you know everybody gonna know about you you know what i'm saying to decide whether they like your music or they don't like your music and you know hate on you or uh, uh, you know you put you put yourself out there to be hated on So, you know, it is what it is. You got to take it take it like a man. You can't be out there hiding from the media. You know what I'm saying? You know you got to do promo. <laughs> you know you got to do press because you got to gain new fans. You know what I'm saying? You should go indie first, make your money. Indie first, make your money. And then go to the major if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Make them do what you want them to do. But let's just stick on topic. We talking about five. What's the meaning behind that? What's up with that? What's the controversy? What's the what's the what's the what's the drama? You know, you know what is that about? Okay, the majors. From what I'm getting from it, you know, what I thought it was, you know, when Game did it was game related. You know what I'm saying? And then when Neo did it, I start thinking, okay, maybe this is about the five album record deal that most majors give. You know, it's just a Number of completion, you know what I'm saying? Everybody knows seven is the real number of completion, but when it comes to record deals, five is the number of completion for some reason, you know. The pentagram runs things, okay? So that's when I start looking at it, okay? This is some, some, some pentagram occult, you know. 
goat ritual, ritual or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what is this? That's what I had to ask myself. So that's what I'm asking y'all. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you got Trey Songs. He titled his album pretty much 5-2. You know, is this his completion? This is his complete album because the thing about it is a lot of these rappers don't make it to five. Congratulations to Rick Ross, the boss, you know what I'm saying? Just just finished up his fifth album, came in the game swift to just whew, just gimme that. You know what I'm saying? Finish his contract with Def Jam, five album, you know what I'm saying? Boss. Say what you want about him. You know what I'm saying? He playing chess. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, too. Um, you know, if you don't finish that fifth album, if you don't, if you don't, they're they going to shelve it, too. If, you, if they don't think you got no buzz, they ain't going to put that fifth album out. You'll never recoup what you uh, invested and what they invested in you. So, you're a debt slave. You're a debt slave. So, A lot of cats are not even aware of that when they when they sign the deal. They just really think they just so hot. What kills me is when, you know what I'm saying, these cats out here that claim that they ain't rappers sign them deals. If you ain't no rapper, you're not going to survive in the rap industry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. You're just not. That'll be because at the end of the day, you know, the public don't give a shit about if you're a rapper or not or if you don't think you're a rapper or whatever you the, the product better be on point. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't got to support it these days. They ain't got to support you. You know what I'm saying? So what's up with this? Is this some some five-star pentagram occult ritual? Or is this just signifying the fifth studio album which is in the in the industry pretty much the number of completion when you've you know fulfilled your contract with the with the beast who who, who. fulfilled your contract you know I think um, my dude Jeezy, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Jeezy, you know what I'm saying. He he repping the, um, I think he repping the Mac Town. Uh, maybe it's uh, Atlanta. Uh, but anyway, maybe it's Hawkinsville. Um, but yeah, shout out to Jeezy. He got one more album to go. Looks like you know what I'm saying. I think this is his fourth. Uh, Studio album, and uh, you know, went gold. So, do another one of them. He good, you know what I'm saying? He he bossed up, boss. You know what I'm saying? Can put his his uh, you know, his artists out, you know, and all that. You know, it's crazy how how Ross did that shit so quick. You know what I'm saying? I think Jesus, Jesus came in the game before Ross. If I'm not mistaken, but uh, yeah. You know, the, the five, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody submitting to the five, man. Everybody talking about the five. Baby, he the doorkeeper right now. He, he the key, he the, you know what I'm saying? He the, door, he the doorkeeper. He tatted it on his head. You know, so. What's up with it? What y'all think? I mean, what's up with this? Five, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I know a lot of people who who don't get into their coat and even don't even don't even pay attention to that. You know what I'm saying? So you got the good of coat and you got the bad of coat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bobby Hemmett. You know, that's my dude. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my, you know what I'm saying? My teachers. You know, one of my, you know, OGs for real. So you gonna understand where I'm coming from? But yeah, I mean, tell me what y'all think about that. I mean, 
You got Trey Songs, you got the game, you got Neo. So what I challenge y'all to do is keep your eye on that and see who else come out with a album called Five. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think though, like I was saying about my dude Jeezy, you know, I think he, I think if he names his next album Five or some type of Five reference, you know. Then I think my my hypothesis will be will be true that you know it's just a number of completion of completion in the in the record industry. You know what I'm saying it's your freedom, it's your freedom. You know. Cause that's a goal. That's a true gold. You know what I'm saying. That's a real gold, a goal to have. You know what I'm saying to just successfully produce, you know what I'm saying, once you get that opportunity, you know, I ain't going to lie, I probably can do no five album deal, you know what I'm saying, because y'all get mad at me, I'm so I'm so much of a perfectionist when it comes to hip-hop, when it comes to rap, when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, like, it may take you about, it might be about two, three years to, for you to get my album after I sign, you know, if I sign to a major, but just believe it's going to be a masterpiece, you know. None of that gimmick shit, none of that just, I'm talking about classic features, something cats motherfuckers don't even think about. You know what I'm saying? These cats don't know nothing about music. You know what I'm saying? These cats don't know nothing about music. But, um, The Real is on the rise. Shout out to The Real. Free Mac. Free Shine Poe. You know. Let them, let them come on back, man. Let them, let them come back and, and feed his people, and, and you know what I'm saying. Take this, take this whack game, rap game over. You know what I'm saying. Make make them everybody bow. Let Rick Ross get his chance to come through. You know what I'm saying. He ain't going nowhere, but give him his lane. You know, and then make way for the for, for shine. You know. Make way for the new, the new wave after after um, Rick Ross, you know, do his thing. Get ready for the for the shine wave, you know. That's my that's my forecast. That's my hip hop forecast. So keep an eye on it. Let me know what y'all think. Um, Evolution Spirit Channel, Jacob Judah, one. At Jacob Judah one, you know, one is in unity. The number one, at Jacob Judah one. Follow, 